what's happening everyone and welcome back to the channel i appreciate you stopping by uh so it's been a while since we've listened to judas priest and so let us do shall so let's do so we're gonna listen to living after midnight off of british steel this is uh their off of their sixth studio album released in 1980. so uh, i was going through a list i don't remember which website might have been rolling stone or something i came across a list of like top metal songs and i was really just going through it and looking through it and this song popped up it's been a while since we listened to the priest and i was like oh, let's go ahead and listen to it on the channel so here we are that's how we've arrived at this point so let's go ahead and give it a listen we will talk about it after here we go guys So this song, I'm just reading some facts. It's uh, it's one of their more popular songs. Uh, let's see, feature on their first gold album, which eventually went platinum as well. Uh, listed as one of the top greatest metal songs of all time. Can I tell you? Okay, when I when I clicked Judas Priest, I was really I was really like wanting something i guess because my mind goes to like stained class and like that excellent album and listen 
I'm just, I'm just being honest. Listen, if it's your first time here, if it's your first time here, th this is one thing that I will always be, and that's always honest. I'm not here to appease, I'm here to be. And I, I think that Live Me After Midnight is a, is a very boring track. I, there's, it does everything okay. I don't think there's anything that's exceptional here, especially when compared to, I guess, just what I've heard previously. Like, Stained Class is an awesome album, like, with everyone just putting on an amazing show and a, a great cut. But Living After Midnight just sounds like radio fodder to me. There's, there's nothing in here that's, like, interesting. Even Halford, who was an amazing singer with a great voice, he's not even, I, I don't know, this, just, there, this is just a very, to me, bland song that could, um, that, that doesn't, it doesn't measure up to the standards and to the excellency of Judas Priest, at least that I expect. It, this just sounds like a, a radio chart pop metal song that doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't really do anything. There's just nothing, there's nothing here for me. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. And listen, I listen. My disappointment in this song, which is apparently popular, may draw some ire in the comments. That's okay, because I have to be myself. Have to be. Same way I'm going to have a favorite song, David Silverman from Orpheus, and some of you may not like it. That, but I appreciate honesty. That's what makes the world go around. All right, let's move. Living after midnight, rocking to the dawn, loving till the morning, then I'm gone, I'm gone. I took the city about 1 a.m., loaded, loaded, I'm all geared up to score again, loaded, loaded. I come alive in the neon light, that's when I make my moves right. It's just living for that nightlife. Got gleaming chrome, reflecting steel, ready to take on every deal. My pulse is racing, I'm hot to take. This motor's revved up, fit to break. with that I'm disappointed with that I really um, maybe I need to go backwards what what album is this compared to to uh, Stained Class because British Steel is their sixth studio album Stained Class is their fourth maybe we need to go back back like earlier I don't know I just I don't know I don't know I don't know but you know let me know what you know and what you think in the comments down below maybe you love this song i can see it being played on the radio and at a mechanic shop like i can hear it probably played on sons of anarchy let me know what you guys thought of this one comments down below follow me a bunch of different places out here on the screen or you don't that's okay <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed your time here come back tomorrow and i will see you all then guys bye <laughs>